In this video, we'll be talking about how to find the constant of proportionality with tables and how to use the constant of proportionality to write equations. So much like our last video where we found the constant of proportionality with a graph, what we'll be doing now is very similar. We're still going to use our y over x formula to find our constant of proportionality. And here I have 8.2 over 2 and remember you can use any of these values as long as you put them um, as long as you put them with their corresponding values so 8 and 2 will correspond you can even use 12 and 4 32.8 and 8 those all work and once I solve this problem I see that my constant of proportionality is actually 4.1 so I would write that k equals 4.1 and if I wanted to write this as an equation, I would say y equals 4.1x. And I can double check this. Well, 4.1 times 2 gives me 8.2. Those are my y and my x values. And 4 times 4.1 will give me 12.3. So it looks like this also works as well. Now, in this uh, example, we don't have x's and y's. So this is where it might become a little bit difficult because you have to decide what's more important, which unit rate do you care more about? Do you want to know the number of apples in each tree, or do you want to know how many trees do you need per one apple? So I think it's more important that we know how many apples there are in every one tree. So I'm going to have my y and my x. And remember, the unit rate is I want to find out how many there are apples there are per tree. So I'm going to compare the trees in my bottom, that's going to be my unit, and my apples up top. So I'm going to put 30 over 5, and I get a constant proportionality of 6. If I were to write this as an equation, I can write it as y equals 6x, and if I wanted to use a variable using these terms, I could also say well, the number of apples is equal to 6 times the number of trees. So if I have 5 trees, 5 times 6 is 30. If I have 10 trees, 10 times 6 is 60. Now, in this example, we're trying to find the constant proportionality when we're comparing the number of tickets to the cost. And here, what I want to find is how much does one ticket cost? I care more about what I can buy with one ticket rather than how many tickets I can buy with just one dollar. So I'm going to find the cost per ticket. I'm still going to do y over x just to give myself a little bit of reminder. But here, I'm going to make sure that tickets is on the bottom and the cost is up top. And again, that's because my unit is going to be per one ticket, so that means tickets should be on the bottom. So I have three tickets. That cost me $28.50. Once I divide these out, I'm going to see that my constant k is $9.50. If I were to write an equation, I could write it one of two ways. I could say that y is equal to 9.5x, or I can use these terms and create variables that the cost is equal to 9.5t for tickets. In our next example, uh, we're comparing the number of miles to the number of hours. So whenever you see miles and hours, it's pretty obvious that most times you'll be looking for miles per hour. So I'm going to do y over x. I'm comparing the miles per one hour. So hours is going to go on the bottom. And miles will go up top. And I'm going to see that 66 over 2. And again, I, can, I don't have to use 66 over 2. I can use 231 divided by 7, and that will give me 33. So k is equal to 33. If I were to write this as an equation, I would say that y equals 33x. Or I can use these values, and I can say that the number of miles is equal to 33 times the number of hours. In our last example, and actually I should admit that these two values should be switched around. So my numerator, or I'm not, I shouldn't say my numerator, but my top values are actually the weight of the bear cubs, and the bottom is the number of the bear cubs. So I have y over x. And I want to find out the weight per one bear cub. 
So I'm going to put bear cubs on the bottom. I'll put BC for bear cubs and their weight up top. I want to find out how much one bear cub weighs. So I'm going to have, I'm going to use a random value. I'm going to pick this one. I'll say that 2,430 over the 20 bear cubs. If I divide that, I see that I have a constant of 121.5. And again, if I was to write this as an equation, I can write y equals 121.5x. Or I can use these values and I can say that the weight is equal to 121 and a half times the number of bears. If you have any questions, always feel free to email me.